Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today we are talking about the things that happened in the month of, what month are we in? We are again, as always, going to be talking about some financial things that happened last month, but also just other things in order to kind of reflect on the month and inspire you all to reflect on your month as well. Um, because successes can come in all shapes and all forms, not necessarily financial. So that is why we decided to make the switch of these monthly budget videos to just talk about other things that happened fun, exciting, not exciting in the month of September. Okay, let's just get started. Um, first and foremost, something that happened in the month of September, literally yesterday as I colored my hair. <laughs> For the first time in two years, I went into the salon for the first time in two years. How crazy, crazy is that? A lot of you all like throughout the pandemic were asking me like, you know, what did you do to your hair? You know, what color is your hair? And literally the color is my natural color. So I didn't do anything to my hair for two years. I just let it all grow out and then I chopped it, but now we colored it because I was like looking at older like uh, like yeah i would say older pictures of me because i've been like um uh because i'm the person that needs to organize an external hard drive so i was just going through pictures and i kind of did like myself with lighter hair this is definitely bringing back probably when we first started dating so like 2014 years i don't know the color is pretty similar i don't i don't know to be honest. And also I tried to like pin curl my hair and then I accidentally pin curled my bangs. So something's happening over here, I'm not sure. But it does feel good to, you know, feel lighter, I guess, even though we are going into fall. But yeah, so this is like going to be my first full day with this new hair and I just have to play around with it. I think maybe another tone maybe in a month or so to darken it a smidge, but you know, it feels good to have a change. I have to say that. So that's one thing I did uh, in the month of September and my hair feels very, very soft because they used a ton of Olaplex on my hair. I feel like I've, I haven't done like a hair routine video in a long time, but you all know if you've been following my channel for a long time, I love Olaplex, Olaplex, is so, so good for your hair. That's why even though my hair has been a wide variety of colors, including platinum blonde, my hair has never been damaged because I take really, 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 really good care of my hair in the form of not washing it in the, every day, in the form of using products that are actually really good for your hair, like Olaplex. So definitely uh, recommend Olaplex products if you color your hair or if you you know, do like wild wacky stuff to it just because you need, there's nothing more important than the health of your hair. So that is, that is that. Let's talk about, oh, bought a wedding dress. Definitely bought a wedding dress. If you followed me on, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, it was like this whole thing about, you know, whether Brian should come or not come to these um, like dress fittings because I really do value his opinion. And, you know, I was like really actually getting confused. I feel like my style and personal taste was kind of getting lost. So I went, um, I only went to two places because I wanted it to be as over as, you know, humanly possible because trying on stuff and like clothing shopping is just not enjoyable to me. I actually hate it. So um, I went to one place with my mom, I went to the other place with um, my two girlfriends, and then I wanted to make a decision from there. And I think I always knew um, the dress that I wanted, but I was kind of like, you know, what about this? 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 And I thought that, you know, Brian um, would help kind of give me clarity, and plus I just, want to be able to get something that he would like and it was a whole thing on instagram like what do you all think you know um give me a reason why or why not your fiance should like go dress shopping and it was honestly pretty even evenly split some people were like no don't have him go make it be a surprise don't ruin that moment of like you know the first looks down the aisle don't do that and the other half was like do what you want 
<laughs> like, it doesn't matter. You know, my fiance came with me and it was fine and all these other things. So it was really pretty evenly split. So the day that I decided to kind of do, go back to the dress that I was leaning towards, um, I asked Brian if he wanted to come and I was just gonna go by myself, but he didn't want me to go by myself. So, Sorry. <sighs> Asia needs a house because Brian just pooped and flushed the toilet. Anyways, I'm talking about the wedding dress and how he came with me and um, didn't come inside, but he was just like right across the street and drinking coffee and I made the decision myself. So he was there in spirit, but he wasn't actually there. And honestly, I'm, I, I honestly do wish, even though the experience with my mom and my best friends was really cool to have them there, I'm glad that I made the final decision 100% by myself. And I just like trusted my instinct on the whole thing and just went with what I originally wanted to. And um, yeah, so I bought a wedding dress. It's from Sarah Seven. A lot of you, you know, I definitely tried to do the rental. I tried to do like the, the previously owned. But for me, I, you know, this might sound like really frou-frou, but I just, I don't know what the energy of that wedding dress is. And I don't want to bring any negative energy from that dress into this marriage. So I didn't really go with the rental route or the previously owned route. Cause if I had a dress that, you know, ended up in divorce, I would not want to bring that juju into this relationship. So that's the reason why I know a lot of people were suggesting that and I hear you, but for me, the vibes, I was a little scared of any bad vibes, which is why I didn't go in that direction. But um, yeah, so I went with Sarah Seven. Um, the thing that I went, or if you saw kind of like um, my adulting video, I kind of explained it. There was just a lot of lace and tulle and frou-frou and it, uh, that's just not me, you know? So I went with something a little bit more simplistic, still gorgeous, um, but classic and timeless. And I'm very, very happy. The other thing that was amazing is my mom actually pay is paying for the dress and I did not expect that. Um, I did not ask for that. I was fully prepared to do that myself, but she was very, very adamant about paying for the dress for me. So mom, thank you very much. I love you. I appreciate you. And, um, it definitely saved us a lot from, um, the budget, even though not that I'm thinking about it in the wedding budget, I did not include our, our tux and dress in it. Speaking of wedding budget, let's talk about money. In the month of September, 70% of my income went towards investments and then like sinking funds. So I fully funded my car insurance and health insurance for 2022 which is very exciting. Um, I am thinking of switching out of Kaiser just because I want to try Ask Tia um, and they don't accept Kaiser. So I'm thinking either Blue Cross, Blue Shield or Oscar, but I actually just found a chiropractor in Little Tokyo and my chiropractor doesn't take Oscar. So I'm leaning towards Blue Cross, Blue Shield. Tangent, not necessarily important, but fully funded health insurance, but that fully funded health insurance is based on what I currently pay. So we'll see um, what kind of like a bronze level um, Blue Cross, Blue Shield costs in California. I have so many pages of sinking funds in this planner, it's crazy. Um, I fully funded my HSA. This will be the first year that I am putting into an HSA. So I fully funded it and I put everything in, what is it called? Oh, so I um, put my HSA in health savings administrators. The only bummer is that they don't have an app, which is like, I know like a super minor thing, but it is kind of actually a bummer. So that's very exciting. Um, again, my first time funding an HSA and um, looking forward to that. What else? So fully funded car insurance, health insurance, fully funded HSA. I added a ton, a ton of money towards the down payment account. Um, and then I added still a lot of money, but not, as, not nearly as much into our wedding fund. So I haven't really talked about the wedding budget because 
Um, I was still trying to figure it out. And I honestly thought, um, so <laughs> I've been asking a lot of people, maybe what I need to do is just like stop asking people questions about like wedding related stuff. But um, I did a whole thing on IG asking people who got married in Hawaii what their budget was. And let me tell you, Hawaiian weddings are just like so effing crazy. So the average cost of a wedding in, I think the US is about like 19,500. And the average cost in Hawaii, according to like a report that it's called a wedding 2020 wedding statistics for Hawaii, well, for 2020, it was 25,000. For 2019, it was 30,000. For 2018, it was 30. 2017, 30. 2016, 28,000. So Hawaii, Hawaii weddings are very expensive. Um, a lot of the people that answered my IG um, question, the average was about $40,000 on a wedding. But our wedding budget, which I thought was actually pretty generous, is 30,000. Um, Apparently that's on the low side for Hawaii, um, but me, I'm ruthless. I'm ready to chop people left and right to stay under that budget. Um, but that is it. So we already have our location and the dress prepared or like set. Um, but ultimately I just like need to go to Hawaii to start meeting vendors. I have a whole list of vendors that were recommended by personal friends and also people on social. So I'm gonna put a list together um, and kind of share that. So if you are from Hawaii, or are you thinking about mar getting married in Hawaii? I'm gonna put a list of the vendors that were recommended by a whole bunch of people on IG pretty soon. There was a lot of them, so I just need to like sift through them. Um, and then I'll put it in a highlight, so it'll always be there for you all to access if need. So 30,000 is the wedding budget. Once I start like actually um, getting vendors and stuff. I know wedding budget videos is something you are very, very interested in, but I don't have any vendors to start doing a budget, a budding, wedding budget yet. Um, but uh, Brian and I are going to do like a fiance Q&A video. So hopefully that will kind of figure out what is important for us. For me, what's important is like a bomb live band um, and an open bar and bomb food. That's really what are my priorities for this wedding so we'll see what his are and see how that can go with the budget but anyways so another thing i did for investing for the 20 percent is i actually added um 1000 to crypto my first time investing in crypto um, i'm not going to go super wild about crypto i'm focusing more on my brokerage account and um you know my my saps and my retirement so that's where the majority of my money goes is going to go for like investing but anything else any other play money will kind of probably go into crypto so i bought i'm using um coinbase and i bought um 1000 of ethereum so that's where i'm at Ooh, actually today is a good time to add more money because it went down again not gonna be a crypto bro but something i did spend my money on and again play money. How I mentioned last month, we had a flood, of, flood in our house. The um, <sighs> renter's insurance gave us our money back really quickly within the month. So everything is taken care of. Everything was okay. And they were really quick to respond. Again, our health insurance is with Deans and, Deans and Homer. It's been with Deans and Homer for a couple years and we've had two major incidents in the house and they've always been like really quick to respond and really quick to send us um, our money. So again, recommend. Another thing that happened last year is that I launched the 2022 dated planner for Master Plan. It was actually, it's actually a pre-sale, it's still going. It's basically a pre-sale until the planners come in November, but I wanted to start pre-selling now because uh, we did sell out really, really quickly, quickly in January. And I know a lot of you missed out on that opportunity and have been waiting a year to get your hands on these dated 2022 planners. So now you have the opportunity to pre-sale. I ordered a lot, so I don't anticipate selling out like super quickly, but we will sell out that I know for sure because we are actually almost halfway there. Um, but 
Once I get the planners in, I'll do a whole video um, about the 2022 planner just because then I can finally start planning for my sinking funds and my goals for the year. So you will definitely get to see a breakthrough of the planner, but that won't be for a month or two. But that is very exciting. So head over to masterplan.co if you want to get yours. I think we have, um, so we have two undated planners left in stock. If you are an undated person, we still have our um, academic planners for college students and even teachers to use. And then we have our uh, pre-sale for the dated planner, which you pre-sale by now, and then it'll be shipped out in November. Um, which is a good thing because you will be getting your master plan planners this month or this year instead of in 2022, which is already progress from our very first launch. So I really like that. Um, and that is it. The only other thing is Brian released his first single for his album, right? He's not listening. Anyways, it's called Amnesia. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. That, even though it doesn't, didn't happen to me directly, I've been listening to that song over and over because he's been choreographing to it and he's done a video to it. So that is something that has been playing in the back of my mind. Amnesia. Na, 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 na. Anyways, those are the things that happened in the month of September, both financial and personal. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments some of the things that happened to you or for you in the month of September. Oh, and what to look forward to in October. So in October, we actually have a pretty busy schedule. Um, we have a lot of dinners. We are actually going to see Dave Chappelle um, at the Hollywood Bowl, which will be my first time going to the Hollywood Bowl, and I've been in LA for 10 years. Um, we have um, dinner at Ennaka again, which is a Michelin star restaurant in LA, Sushi Delish. Um, and then we're going to Vegas for a wedding, and then Brian's going to Mexico for work. So October is going to be very busy, but I'm very excited. And I do have to say a lot of the things that we are going to require proof of vaccination. I'm not going to talk about this being like a pro-vax, anti-vax video situation, but we've been able to experience a lot because we are fully vaccinated. And um, that's just something that is important to us. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm Asia Dang, thank you so much for watching this video. And um, yeah, comment in the comment section. Thing, I'm still like playing with my hair. Uh, things that happened to you in the month of September and things that you are looking forward to for the month of October. Again, almost done with the year. I have not touched my quarter three goals at all this month or for the past couple months. Anyways, a lot, of, a lot of things are gonna happen. I think I'm gonna do a new quarter four goal video, maybe because my quarter four goal is different, completely different than what I expected it to be, or maybe I'll just like talk through it in a video. I'll probably just do that because it's easier. Anyways, I'm Aja Dang. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.